Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I'm Adassa. Today we got another reaction to Quadeca. Uh, last time we reacted to him, it was, I think, the mixtape, actually, of Scrapyard. Not the other song, or I, I forget the name of the song, but it'll, like, be up here. I'll show you the song. That was a pretty good song. I enjoyed that song. And so now we have this, which is Songs I Will Never Release. And I think it's a small little mixtape of songs that Quadeca has made, but he will never release. Um, and so I'm just really excited to check this out. This quite literally just dropped. I just got the notification of this dropping and it's only been out for like four minutes. So we're just hopping on it real quick because I love Kodeka, man. I love it. I, I love the album. I didn't mean to haunt you. So with that being said, let's get into this video. Go. This is going to be a long reaction. I'm assuming it's going to be experimental. Exactly what I do when it's done Today they asked me how I knew I'm the one I looked in the mirror, it's clear I guess Became exactly who I knew I'd become Saying that it's just a fluke, are you- I'm gonna say this now If if you don't know Quadeca and you're watching this video You're probably not gonna like the style of music Because he's been really going with this like Very experimental aesthetic Like aesthetic um music And it's like, it's not for everybody's ears And I understand that Everyone has their own preferences But I like this kind of music. I like when people get experimental and weird with music. That's that's why I loved I Didn't Mean to Haunt You. And that's probably why I'm going to love this little mixtape he put out. Dumb. I said I have nothing to prove to anyone by now. There's nothing new under the sun. Okay, okay. I just got one straight out of my drawer. I look at how one they put on my tour. I write ones with a W like some Korean money, but I got a thousand times more. That's gonna save me right down to my core. They're gonna hate me by now. I'm just bored. I'm on the same since 2004. I don't even really know how to count anymore. <laughs> I'm at a level you can't quantify I ain't even rapped in a year And I'm still under here And rapped on your motherfucking Spotify How the fuck could I be getting bears? Bitch, I blew up in my crib He's saying he hasn't rapped for a year He's pretty much, He pretty much said I haven't rapped in like a year And now he's like He's still on like everyone's Spotify Like that's That's It's kind of a flex though I mean He has a lot of fans He's I think he has like Like 500,000 monthly listeners Which is pretty good so Era. Bitch, I blew up in my mid era. I'm on a new amount of sincerity. Do a joke, you've been parody. Don't hit me till you're in therapy. And you know what? Everything that I post nuts has some real clarity. Ah, I'm sorry. You never get bored. Wait, did you say everything I post nut it has clarity? Era. Bitch, I blew up in my mid era. I'm on a new amount of sincerity. Do a joke, you've been parody. Don't hit me till you're in therapy. And you know what? Everything that I post nuts has some real clarity. Everything I post nut has some real clarity. That's a funny bar. I like that. Ah, I'm sorry. You never get bored of me, not yet. I'm back and I'm already on next. Wrote a song they perform it in contest. Live these songs and record them in context. You got an inferiority complex. When I finished recording this project, your girl sent you a horribly long text. Yeah. Better read that shit. Three dots showing you delete that shit. New essay sitting underneath that shit. I'm in Norway sitting on a beanbag, kicking my feedback. Fuck all your feedback. You be trying to tweet at me, playing backseat career from the backseat. Always trying to grab me and steer. Can't pass me. I'm here running laps, not one soul train like me, playing backseat in the mirror. I'm sitting on masterpieces like, wait a few months now, I'm back with Pierre. Been gone for like half of a year now, I'm back in the clear now, I'm back in the lead. Don't drop the ball, just pass it to me. Check the scoreboard, I'm happy to see. Your shit is artificially hard, it's all fucking Viagra to me. Fall off the charts, Niagara to me. <laughs> Okay, is this a beat switch or is this next song? Because he actually shows in the description all the songs. We have Perfectly Cut, Scream, Like Me, 123, Mad at Me, One Step Program, Lifespan, and Who Am I? So, I don't know if this is the next song or if this is kind of like a beat switch. <laughs> This is like me, so we're on the next song. Let me know you're doing it, quite like me. I'll keep this in it, I'll discuss. Get surprised when they say this in press. They can't cope, so they rational ass. I don't want my just capital ass. If I wrote it, I actually will ask. What you 
world is ash and we're alive I can't even feel bad for these guys I can't even feel bad, bad, bad You know what you're doing, quite like me You know what you're doing, quite like me Oh, I like that. I like what he did. I like when he does like his panned like vocal shit because it always sounds really crisp. He has like these little harmonies kind of thing going on and like the left and right ear. I love it. say this now i know a lot of people are probably gonna say this um a lot of people are probably gonna say kudeka is just like overproducing like this is like overproduced garbage because he's just adding a bunch of weird sounds focus because he's just adding like a bunch of like weird sounds into his like instrumentals um but it's funny enough because and guess who even said people can't tell the difference between um a masterpiece and a tight beat and, like, the beats he makes, like, the production is, like, really good. And some people just think it's it's just him putting a bunch of sounds, like, in a, in a you know, like, in a track. Realistically, he is producing, like, a beat. Like, this is this is his style. He has taken this style in. And it's just really dope to see what he's done with it. I, I really like where he's going with the, with the sound. And I know a lot of people aren't liking it. A lot of people probably going to want to see him do, like, his original rap stuff, too. Like, his ignorant music. But I enjoy this, man. I enjoy experimental music. It's it's always been really comforting to me to like listen to this music. So with that being said, back into it. Okay, that was that was like me. I think is what it's called. I think, yeah, like me. So now we're moving on to one, two, three, at four minutes and thirty-one seconds. On, on, on. On, on, on. I need, I need everyone's eyes on the count of three, like one, two, three on me. I need everyone's eyes on the count of three, like one, two, three on me. This one kind of has like a Jersey club feel to it. You know, like the boom, the boom, boom, the boom, boom, the boom. You know, like that Jersey club feel. Okay. I'm invincible for this season. I'm invincible for no reason. I might, uh, I might, I might, I might. Left 
on the shelf You'll have to kill him yourself so. We're still on, we're, I think we're still on 1, 2, 3 right now I, I'm pretty sure we're still on 1, 2, 3 Check what you left on the shelf You'll have to kill him yourself If you want him gone It'll take a lot out of me Just say what you did was wrong Cause it'll take a lot out on me Just say it, it's been too long And you say not mad at me But the rest is a different song Let's get acquainted with that thought of moving on uh. I like the subtle B switches he's kind of doing, like the subtle like flow switches and like how he's kind of changing up the beat a little bit, but not too drastically. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. He's not like, oh, guess what? Here's a here's a little beat switch. It's a completely different beat now. Nah, he kind of like switches up a little bit of the instruments and the sounds, but keeps it relatively at like the same feel. You know, I like that. He's switching the flows and stuff. I love it. Honestly, I am crying way too long to see his song is on repeat. I try to tell you, it's still one year and not the other. I try to tell you, it's been one year without each other. I try to tell you, it's still one year and not the other. I try to tell you, it's been one year without each other. Fuck what was left on the shelf. You probably said it yourself. So. And everybody can tell you should have killed him yourself. So, so, if you want him. Also, kind of like how in the video he's like pr kind of promoting his like uh, vinyl records. Um, because he has like it, he has like the scrapyard mixtape on vinyl, and you can just see it spinning here, which is really cool. Um, I might have to buy it. I don't know if it's available, but I might have to buy the vinyl here because I, I really like vinyl records. I just, I don't know what ones I want to get. I was going to get the I Didn't Mean to Haunt You vinyl, but I, I never did. I'm, I'm kind of mad I didn't. Him gone. It took a lot out of me. Just say what you did was wrong. Cause you take a lot out on me. Just say that it's been too long. Uh, and you say you're not mad at me, but the rest is different song. You're still acquainted with the thought of holding on. Okay, so that was one, two, three. Next, we are moving on to um, Mad at Me. Okay, we got Mad at Me next. Very interested. Very, very interested. Here we go. Got no part of what I've done. You sound like a window taking credit for the sun. Okay, so there's a bit of a different vibe here. I feel like he's gonna go a little bit harder on this one, which is gonna be really nice. It's gonna be a bit of a switch up, kind of like Guess Who. Guess Who, he blew out of the water. I loved Guess Who. That one, that was fire. That was fire. <laughs> Got no part of what I've done. You sound like a window taking credit for the sun. I take no, I take no pride in what I've won. Let me set the record straight before it's ever spun. Got no influence and it's clear. I got influence, you'll just take it once it's here. They think I'm bullshitting, I'll see you in a year. You watch it all appear, I'm in the sky, send an SMS to mix some green and blue and tell you what it represents. A dream come true, I got a headache from the FPS I'm seeing who mistakes are self-obsessed with self-respect And guess I'm set when I consider that I'm an empty threat Crowd going real, real, real like an SOS I only see a real, real one on what the chest I'm in the air, real, real, every time I get a check Still in denial, someone tell them there's a second step Please No part of what I've done. Got 
down the pot and rock down. Are we still on the same song? I hope we're on the same song. Um, so far, pretty good song. Pretty good song. I like it. I don't know if these are ever going to get released to Spotify. It is called Songs I Will Never Release. So, that'd be kind of unfortunate if he didn't put these on Spotify. And you kind of had to just listen to them on YouTube. Because these aren't bad. A lot of people are going to say they're kind of ass. And that they're just copy and paste songs. But, I don't know. They all kind of have like a different vibe to them. And I just, I kind of enjoy them. Like, they're good songs to like relax to, you know. So, I... I would like for him to actually release this stuff. I wish he would. Put it off to the side. Put it Ooh, okay. That's actually pretty good. Is this the next song? This would tell you to be one step program. Right? I'm not sure. One word I was looking for and I just figured it out is ethereal. These songs are very kind of ethereal and I really enjoy it, man. It's like very calming right now. Like I'm just kind of like in a very like chilled out mood listening to this music. It's not putting me to sleep. I know people are like, oh yeah, it's because it's boring music. It's putting you to sleep. No, it's just chill, man. It's like a vibey like kind of songs, you know. I enjoy them. I know most people don't, don't and that's their preference, but I just enjoy this music. I don't know. I don't know if we're on the next song yet, but that's good. I like that. different songs right here and this is this is what's called what who am who i am all right this is called who i am I to
He has Vanisher coming, which we're going to react to that. But overall, I don't know. He's saying he won't release these songs, but he's kind of got to, man. He's kind of got to release them. I think he should. I know most people don't, probably aren't going to like a lot of these songs, but well, Quagmire, you've done it again. That's a good one. That's a good one. But overall, I thought these were good. They were just real vibey songs, and I enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed uh, this, this little, this little, little bunch of songs um maybe uh maybe someone will like repost them as like individual songs but i'm excited for vanisher too so with that being said i thank anyone who's watching me in blurry mode right now thank you to anyone who actually stuck around and watched this video um i know it was a pretty long video pretty long reaction but i mean the the, the video itself is 14 minutes and we're kind of like seven minutes over right now but that's eight nine minutes or like nine minutes over, but whatever, you know, to it's, it's a long reaction, whatever. Um, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and like I said, we're going to be reacting to something like Vanisher once that comes out. Um, I got some more reactions coming. I know, I know a lot of recommendations have been coming through and I'm trying to get to them. So don't worry. I'm going to get to them. I always do. Um, and with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.